Haiti, a tropical paradise. At one time, the Pearl of the Antilles. A land of beauty, of warmth, and of light. Haiti is inhabited by 10 million people created in God's image. The people, like the land they inhabit, are beautiful, warm, and bright. But there is no mistaking the fact that Haiti is poor, and that the poverty reaches deeper than empty pockets. Many rural Haitians live in academic poverty with less than three years of schooling in their lifetime. Mass skills are poor. Reading and writing skills are poor. Historical, geographical, and scientific awareness are minimal. For many Haitians, educational experiences are negative, full of falsehoods, archaic teaching methods, physical and emotional abuse. A qualified, loving, inspirational teacher is something many Haitian students never experience. Andy Stump is a full-time missionary in Haiti and has been living and ministering in the same community since 1992. His public school education equipped him with the basic skills and knowledge that are absent in the lives of the people to whom he ministers, and a bachelor degree in music education prepared him to teach. 20 years of experience right here in rural Haiti, I believe God has prepared me to use teaching as a tool to present Jesus Christ in this community. For 20 years, Andy worked in academic education and church ministry with the mission Water for Life. Good. 
Then, in 2012, ASAP Teaching Ministry was launched to allow Andy to minister full-time in the areas of music ministry, Bible education, English as a second language, and academics. Keep on singing, keep on shouting. Through ASAP Teaching Ministry, Andy is teaching music and ministry to musicians from 10 different congregations. More than 30 musicians visit the ASAP Teaching Center each week for private lessons, group lessons, and rehearsals. I want the musicians that I'm training to be true servants in their congregations. I want their music to be a blessing to the church. I feel very happy to be a student here at ASAF. Because of ASAF, I am now able to play some chords on piano. I can read music now. I am one of the brass band players. I thank Andy for that. And I thank God for giving Andy the job he does for us. I learned to play drums. And I play in the church worship band. Now, I'm learning to play keyboard. He teaches me to play drums. Andy also serves the local church and children's and youth ministries. I love teaching Sunday school. I've worked with all different sizes of students over the years. Opening the Bible to kids on a Sunday morning, it's a great way to start a week. He was my teacher for Sunday school. And he taught us how to quickly find the books of the Bible. He showed us that Psalms is in the middle and, and Matthew is halfway between Psalms and the end. Andy started my Bible education in Sunday school. He gave me a great foundation. And I thank him for what he did. In the junior youth group, Andy showed us that the greatest example of love is Calvary. In the ASAF Bible program, I learned Psalm 3, verse 5. I lay down and slept. I woke again, for the Lord sustained me. He taught us that God holds the whole world in his hands. Andy writes and teaches vacation Bible school programs for the young people in the community. In vacation Bible schools over the years, we've looked at the wonders of God's creation, we've studied the Bible as one big picture, and we've looked at the tabernacle and all the amazing lessons about Christ and about worship that are in that significant part of the Old Testament. In vacation Bible school, Andy taught us a lot of things. He taught us about how God makes our bodies. That helped us understand ourselves. And he taught us about the tabernacle, how it was built, why it was built. That helped us understand the Bible. Andy has worked with teachers both in schools and in churches, equipping them to be better able to teach. When you help one teacher, you help the 30 or 40 students that they teach each day. That's pretty powerful. As a teacher, I learned a lot from Andy, especially about handwriting. It was Andy who helped me and a lot of other teachers to write well in his seminar. Andy teaches me how to work with kids. Another part of ASAF teaching ministry is academic tutoring. Andy tutors students in academic subjects. Right now I'm teaching a young boy to read. 
He's not in school for a couple of reasons, but with 30 minutes of tutoring each day, he's learning the sounds, he's learning to tie them together so that he can read on his own. I wasn't good at fractions. Andy worked with me. He showed me drawings and things. He showed me fractions are not that difficult. They're logical. ASAF Teaching Center hosts regular English clubs where students of English can come and practice their English under Andy's careful attention. At ASAF, I improve my English. Andy helps me speak English better. Andy helps me to speak English clearly. Clear. Clearly. 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 Okay, clearly. ASAF Teaching Ministry is about teaching. It is about being faithful to the gifts that were given, whether it is a message on Sunday morning, a music lesson, a rehearsal, a conversation after a meeting, a book written in Creole to address a need, a school assembly for 300 students, or just the daily evening devotion at Andy's house. It's all about teaching about presenting Christ in a rural Haitian community, one lesson at a time. When I was deciding on a name for this ministry, one of the names from the Bible that I liked was Asaph. He was a musician, wrote some of the Psalms. We don't know a lot about him, but he apparently composed music and taught other people to play. And so a lot of what I do, he did. And I also noticed that his name spells out my address. Andy Stump at Fosbottom, Haiti. ASAF Teaching Ministry. Presenting Christ in a rural Haitian community. One lesson at a time. Andy is a teacher who has taught me many things. Not just about music, but how to relate to people as well. It's one of the best examples for me, how he lives in this society. He's very patient. Andy has a lot of patience, whether he's teaching you how to write, or how to read. I learned so much from him especially about the Bible, in our devotion times. Andy is like a father for me, like a great professor. When he teaches, he never teaches without some kind of illustration. That means, what he is teaching. He wants you to really get it. In my church, Andy is teaching all of the kids, the young people, and the adults. He's preparing them. So you can see a little kid playing drums or playing guitar. It's because of Andy. I say that's a big deal. It's a great blessing God sent to us when he sent Andy Stump to Pasquano. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. It is a phrase that appears 11 times in the Old Testament, and its first appearance is in a psalm written by David and handed to Asaph. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Asaph. 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 Asaf. Asaf. The house I stay. It's falling apart, holes in the roof and broken stairs. 
I called the owner just the other day Said he's through making repairs So I'm getting ready to move I'm getting ready to move I'm getting ready to move Oh, I'm getting ready to move I heard a man describing a place on the other side of the creek. He said he'd never seen so many beautiful things and he had only taken a peek. Well, I'm getting ready to move. I'm getting ready to move. I'm getting ready to move. Oh, I'm getting ready to move.